Yeah, it's pretty cool, yeah. If I go back behind this, just to the microphone. Okay, so I learned. Okay, it's a surprise Sunday. It's casual for me. Short on the links today. Oh, one of those. F2. Good to see you guys here today. How you both doing today? Hope you're both doing pretty good. sandwich today. No sandwich today, unfortunately. <laughs> Pressing the music on a little low. A little down. Yeah, I think the music is on the loud side, huh? Okay, I think music should be a bit better now. Mm okay, things are looking okay. Hello, four people watching. Thanks for thanks for tuning in on a uh, unscheduled surprise stream. Um, Cause I have things to do, and because Twitch has a weird rollover date didn't actually get affiliate until after this stream so thanks for joining me you guys and help me on this little adventure we call life um oh my god is the music still too loud or is this i think music uh on the loud side but i think it should be okay i just have it loud in my monitoring and so hey banana peel hey, what do you guys think about the uh the, the, the music too loud or is it okay where it is. I just, want, I just need to make sure I'm not crazy. I'm looking at the levels. I think it's okay. But it could be wrong. Music is good. Thanks I make for you. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the, thanks for the heads up. It is a uh, tad loud. Tiny loud. Okay, I'll, I'll turn a tiny down then. That sounds like, that sounds like a plan. Just a tiny down. Oops, that was, that was not a tiny down. Okay, hopefully this is better. Um, hope everyone's doing really good on this uh, Sunday. It's um, this is Sunday afternoon right now for me, 12.03. Uh, hope it's not, hope it's a reasonable time for all of you guys, wherever you guys are in the world. Because uh, I got some keyword stuff. I got, I got this thing right here. I got a few other things. I'm actually just probably that. We'll see. I'm just collecting myself. I just like woke up like an hour and change ago as you guys can probably tell with my disheveled hair. Hello Nebulent. Hello, hello, hello. That's why I'm so casual today. Weekend equals casual Huey. Except when I'm filming, which I have uh, two things to film later. One of them being this week in keyboards, which is always a fun time. 
And the other one is a build video, or the A roll of a build video, because I've already done the build. So that's going to be fun when I get around to it. What's everyone up to today? It's, uh, it's, it's Sunday. Hope y'all are doing a hunger dory, all good in the hood. Cleaning. I usually do a lot of cleaning on Sundays. Yeah, it's a good time. But I'm usually doing a lot of cleaning so I can do video shooting stuff. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, you guys can see like part of my setup right here. A monitor, a camera, audio, recorder. Probably need to do some cleaning too. Like keyboard cleaning stuff. Like cleaning like your workbench and like your organization and organizing your keycaps and stuff like that. Or like real life cleaning. Because keyboards aren't real life. They're better. Hello, pilot. You are looming Gat Sound Yellows with 3204. Fun stuff, fun stuff. How is it turning out so well, so far? Um, I noticed with my uh, Gatoron Sound Yellows, I you definitely need to break them in, in my opinion, because there's like a weird stickiness. When I first started using them, like almost it's getting caught on the switch. But after about three or four hours of using it, that mostly went away on the key that I use the most, so I still need more breaking in. But that was a really weird experience. Definitely needs breaking in for that switch, though. Something, something's up with it. Something is up with it. Both for sure, indeed. Rebuilt one yesterday. Might rebuild another one if you can bring myself to lube more switches. Yeah, sometimes lubing can uh, can take a lot out of you. But so far, so good. Haven't typed on them much yet. Eh, as long as they're good for you. HH can be back together. You can move it apart because you wanted to lube it before you put it back together. Good call. Hope you enjoyed that. A lube HH can be is a, such a treat compared to having an unlubed one. Like, it's, it's a game changer. A game changer. More people coming in. Oh, my mystic spot just went off. It's nice. Hit up the alert squad. That's awesome. You want a 55 gram HKB, especially since if Norb is going to make a case for them. He might, he might not. There's a large engineering challenges when it comes to making an HHKB case. Significant. Which loop should I use? You have 3203, 3204, and 205 grade 0. Uh, for HHKB, it's actually kind of tough because, like, it's really imparts, it really imparts your own preference between those three lubes as opposed to, like, optimal use kind of situation. If you ask me, personally, I'd go with 3203 or 205 grade 0. So, it's up to you. The heck, why is my stream all zoomed in? Weird. There we go. Fix this. I do a lot of like keyboard housekeeping stuff today, you know. Nothing too intense. Hopefully not. So all would work good. Yeah, all would work pretty well. 
all would work pretty well. There's a, yeah, all would work pretty well. Behind the scenes, this is my setup, everyone. How exciting. FR301 yesterday. Talk about a game-changing tool. Yeah. FR301 is a... It's a, it's a, it's a game-changer. Yeah, Nathan does like that, uh, 205 grade zero. Um... So I'll be preferencing. I, per I personally love, uh... 3203, I think it's, uh, very workable as, as a lube, which makes it really nice. One thing I want to try, maybe I should try it now, is using my wireless lav for some streams in the future, like when I do, uh, the cool board instead of this, uh, shotgun mic, because if I have a wireless lav, then, um, Jeff, Jeff, no, no, no sandwich because it's it's an unscheduled. Okay, when I'm, when when, I'm, when we're on schedule, I'll have that sandwich. So, Gideon zero zero eight nine, hello as well. So I'm thinking about using that for the cool board segments, my wireless lav since I have it and since I'd be. I know I rewatched yesterday uh, a lot of sections from the cool board uh, to review what to do better because. That's what I do as a person. I review what I've done. And I'm like, how can I improve this? Um, so I think I'm going to try that out. I might even try that this stream. Like, just unplug it real quick from my audio recorder. Grab the uh, transmitter. Just run into my shirt right here. And give a little testeroni for all of you guys right here. Just to see how it sounds, you know? Um, and then we make something decent out of it. And uh, that would be a cool bean situation, you know? Because I think... It'll work. I think uh, when I was hearing the um, the uh, the sound for it through YouTube, it sounded very spacey, very airy, and that was because of the distance between the shotgun mic and myself, without much like control for the gain. Because I'd move back and forth, I'd move closer to the camera to explain, right? Then I'd move back to the board. I'd turn my mouth face the board sometimes. I'd turn and face my computer sometimes. It'd turn and face the uh, camera sometimes, right? So, unless I had an XLR port on my camera to have it from my camera instead of this one, I could get away with that using a shotgun. But I think if this one's going to stay here, which I, for the time being it might, for that segment, I might just, you know, just and then put it on my uh, wireless wireless lab dedicated lighting for the segment would be nice too yeah don't worry i'm working on the uh, the lighting i definitely have enough lights and everything i just need to um set them up the only issue is the area i have this set up is pretty small i've it's it's easier for me to light behind that table than on than then in front of the table which is where i am and where you need it for the board uh, you've been looking for a group by custom cases. You're so sad when you missed the Volcano 660. One, we want to try a PC case of the gasket mount case. Uh, yeah, there, as Nebulant says, there's the uh, Think 6.5. So, so that is the option. And right now the cool wall is hanging sideways like in the area behind my bed so like all the papers are like throw like rotated it's pretty funny like that it's weird oh what else do I need to do wait what is this this is a uh, this is a morning stream hello hello buenos dias um, I had a chicken bake for breakfast so I'm pretty full actually
Zamon, come, come, come say hi in chat. In the room. Also, yeah, as Small One said, I need an extra stream to get affiliate because the rollover date for the month was on um, my first stream of the seven I needed. So when I finished Wednesday's stream, I finished it after the time that the first stream of the seven finished it finished. So, um, yeah, I didn't count for my seventh one. Like I didn't end it 30 minutes earlier. So thanks Twitch. Also, I guess that's just them ma making, wanting me to do more streams. So here I am on a Sunday talking about my plans and what I'm doing and making gonna make working on you with you guys to make the cool board a better experience um episode to episode and one of the ways i'm gonna do that is with uh, my wireless lab that you already see hooked up to my uh my monitor transmitters on the table um maybe we should get that right now and try it out for you guys five minutes you'll be there cool and what do you guys think do you guys want to see do you guys want to I guess we'll do a test of the wireless lab. I think it'll be a good test. Yes, no, maybe. Or do you guys want to go straight to keyboard stuff, which we can do as well. Fifteen viewers, thank you everyone so much for something by the day. Test it. Test away. Okay, I'll be right back. You guys will see me in my beautiful pajama shorts. Okay, um, so here's the receiver, here's the transmitter. So there's going to be several tasks. One's going to be testing transmitter and receiver, how it sounds for you guys. The Lunar Sama. The other test is going to be between the stock mic that came, as well as my... Sorry, I had to sneeze for a second, but I didn't. Other test is going to be my um, other mic that I have, that I've used before to success. Um... So we'll see which mic will be also be better for uh, the this. Okay, so I'm going to turn... Hopefully this doesn't get loud for you. I'm going to turn my input down to zero. Turn off 48 volt phantom power. Unplug XLR for the mic. Plug it in for the transmitter. Turn the transmitter on. I mean, turn the plug in the receiver. Turn the receiver on. Turn the transmitter on. And then turn my volume back up. Okay. So it's going to be quiet from me for just a little bit, but I should, should still get the music. Testing. Oh my god, I can hear that noise. Turning the game down. Hello? Testing one, two. Testing one, two. How's this, everyone? How's this? Testing. 
Testing, testing. Testing. I can hear myself through it. I think you should be able to hear me too. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Sounds muffled. A little hollow. Sounds a bit weird. It might be the microphone. I think I want to test this microphone too that I have. This one usually hasn't let me down. But we'll see. You know, clipping maybe? Uh, I'm definitely on the uh, the orange side of the game. Compressor on? Nope. Yeah, not as good as the road. Um, it's definitely a, it's a, it's a, I'll say it's a discount wireless lab system as well. Also, this, like, cable, trying to rub against it isn't helping. So sorry about that. Shit. We're getting them tangled on each other now. Whatever. That's good enough. Okay, I'm gonna try, we'll try the other microphone real quick. Okay, with the same setting, so I'm gonna turn the volume all the way down, plug in another mic, and we'll try it out. Testing one, two. Oh, wait. Bad news. I don't know where the clip is. My shirt clip for this microphone, so I need to look for it. But automatically, it sounds way better, right? Because the meter just sounds way, way better. Oh, hey, Zammy one. Does it sound way better, everyone? A lot better. Hello. Hello. Oh. They, oh, vo voices. Oh. Voices. Oh, yeah, probably here. It might sound really bad, or my might sound okay. But, yeah. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. So this is the Sunday stream, the extra stream. Ah, uh, yes. This is the extra stream. I'm just trying out wireless labs. I feel like using a wireless lab for the board, the cool board segment, would be a lot better mm -hmm. because of the distance I'm at. And uh, this is me using one of the wireless labs, and uh, I think it sounds pretty good. Yeah. Is it, is it like the right now the one that I'm listening? Mm -hmm. Like with the with the talk room or? Okay, uh, let me let me check. I'm using it for both, so. Oh yeah, it sounds it sounds awesome. That's that's good to hear. Yeah, I need that. Yeah, because if you move a, if you move a lot, like the shotgun mic is awesome if you are like sitting, but yeah, if you're moving around, you know, either you have a handheld mic or you have a lavalier mic and a wireless mic, for instance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so that's 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 kind of the the plan I was going for. I think what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's a, that's that's awesome, actually. Okay, be right back, everyone. I need to look for where the shirt, where the clip, actual physical clip went for this lav mic because it's way better. But I don't know where the clip is, so I'm just physically holding it. So I'm just gonna turn my volume off for a second and go look around. So, what do you plan to? Okay, so I shouldn't be talking while you lower your volume. Hi, good day everyone. Welcome to the Man of Inters stream. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. Use tape. Yeah, he could use tape, but the problem with tape is that it's not reusable. This is something that they do with movies, so they don't clip it against the, the clothes. So you don't see the microphone. The clip, the, the, the clip broke. That's why it fell off. Ugh, I want to use tape. Yeah. Yeah. Or super glue. Oof. <laughs> That's why it fell off. I was so confused for a second. Okay, guys, what's, what are my solutions? So I just gaffer tape against my chest? I can do that. I'm willing to do that. I'm going to try it. Where's my gaffer tape? My gaffer, there's my gaffer tape. Always have gaffer tape, everyone. It's, 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 it's great. 
It's great. Okay, one second while I lower my volume and tape it. Okay, how's this? How's this good? We sound pretty good here. I think we're sounding pretty good here. Okay, that's that's test one. So we know which 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 one works the best. Let me clip my transmitter to me, and let me go walk around to my backdrop. See how it sounds for you guys. Uh, I guess I need to monitor myself. Just let me know how it continues to sound. So I'm just walking across here. Back's turned to y'all, you know. Oh, wait. Yeah, uh, sound good, hopefully. There's Huey. Oh, yeah, I still can't see me because I moved my chair so, so artistically. But hopefully it still sounds good even from over there without that much distortion or clipping or reasons X, Y, or Z why it might or might not sound good. I'll walk back now. Do, 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 so that's that's a good signal. Yeah, well, at least I have a small room, so it's not like I have uh, yeah that but, much to worry about. Yeah, and not have like maybe with a cable you wouldn't have a lot of issues, but when you have a wireless mic, you you, you have to use it. <laughs> now I'm hearing you know, I'm hearing it myself uh, in the uh, my monitoring. Yeah, it actually sounds pretty uh, definitely not as nice my shotgun, but like for wireless, I think this is very passable. Yeah, pretty pretty happy. Sorry, you were saying. Oh yeah, that that you you've got a wireless mic and it's good that you use it properly. <laughs> <laughs> Which is this is this is nice because now I can. Uh... Yeah, you, the, the you can do segments and if you, for instance, if you have to record outside, oh, and yeah. you are alone, you can do it too. I'm gonna I'm gonna show everyone I accidentally hit the power button and it's actually the batteries are actually almost dead hence the uh, red flashing light I'm getting nice um, I'm Battery, no, can you hear me? Uh, okay, yeah, battery, battery died, battery died. Haven't changed the batteries in these for a while. Well, good, at least we know they work, I just need to change the batteries. Sweet, that's, that's, that's an easy enough thing to do, everyone. Easy enough thing to do. So what I'm gonna try to do, yeah, at least I got the test in. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get the old clip, the, the clip from the other microphone, that I think we've all established isn't as good, and then um, and then to we'll fix that, to this microphone.
I'm scared about pinching the cable now. What are, what are you up to? What am I up to? I have a keyboard to desolder. I had a wireless lab to test. That was mostly it. It's pretty, mostly a short stream, just so I could have get my official seventh stream in to get affiliate. Hopefully, I'll, I'll show someone, uh, show everyone something that um, if you're Asian, you may be familiar with this scenario, where on the screen right here of my transmitter, as you can see this little tab, I have the plastic cover still on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> So, you all can bear witness of me taking it off for all of you, okay? That's, this is, this is true A plus stream entertainment, okay? I've, I've saved the best ASMR. part. ASMR. Best part of the unboxing. Ooh, I'll, I'll try to ASMR it. That's me peeling, pricking at it. Ooh. There it is. Fresh screen. There's no batteries. I need to place what batteries? I don't even remember what batteries he's used. Double A's, nice. I've rechargeable Amazon ones, so it's gonna be perfect. And the transmitter was low batteries as well. So I also assume that it is. I'm just happy the transmitter comes with XLR as well as 3.5 mil. Unnecessary, but nice addition. Only downside is it's a single receiver, single transmitter, not a, a dual receiver. So I can only have one one talent mic'd up at a time, but that's okay. It's life. You, you, you would need to upgrade the receiver, maybe? I'd have to if get you a, want, like, two microphones? Yeah, either I'd have to get just another set, or I'd have to get a, a dual, dual receiver. That can work in the same frequency band as the new transmitter and this current transmitter. Okay. Let's switch to the bench. And there's my phone so I can monitor chat. It's on my bed, of course. Okay. So today I have a uh, board I need a desolder. It's a Singa. I like this board, but I think that it could have turned out, my build of it could have turned out way better, so I'm going to make it better. Because that's what enthusiasts do. I think the only thing change. I could... Hmm? That change of, of, of camera. <laughs> <laughs> that, my stream is like uh, 10 or 15 seconds delayed because of my internet uh, yeah. and I saw the camera ah, <laughs> PC Zynga I, mean, uh, I, I think that with plastic cases like polycarbonate cases and acrylic cases linears go very well yes they but do basically linears go very well with anything because they are the superior switch <laughs> bold, <laughs> bold words there, bold words there. Um, no, li yeah, linears go really, really well with uh, polycarb and acrylic. Like one of my favorite linear boards to type on is my uh, Duck Unicorn all acrylic. Um, with uh, what do I have in there? A Telios in there. Absolute dream. I built this one with uh, seventy-eight gram, seventy gram, sixty-two gram, Xylence. And I'm pretty happy with it, but I think I have a better I can find a better use for the xylence. What switches am I gonna put in it? The ice is nice asks. Um great question, I don't know. I need to actually put my that's why I grab my where did I grab my phone there it is. Phone, Twitch chats. Just open up chats. Here we go. Put it right in front of me.
Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure, aside from linear is what switches. I think today I'm just going to desolder. I don't think I'll rebuild it on stream today. I might do the off stream. Or maybe on Monday. I don't know. Creams or inks? I don't have enough inks to use. I was thinking I could use face switches. Oh yeah, you guys see my ghetto. Actually, it's not that ghetto. It looks pretty clean. The jump I did to fix one of the LEDs. Because uh, I know how to do that kind of stuff. It's very useful. Uh, Non-magnetic screws. How wonderful. Goodbye. Good microphone. Go there. Okay. My phase are arriving tomorrow, so I could do that. But I need to. I need to lube them. I'm not sure people want to want to watch me lube on stream. Purple PCB is very nice indeed. Um, let's get the soldering iron out. It's actually pretty clean. Yeah. I have seen worse. Hey, wait, where's your your magnetic mat or something for the screws? The screws aren't SMH. magnetic. The screws aren't SMH. magnetic. Oh, but you can... Can't you magnetize them? You can't magnetize all screws. Um, yeah, but... My bit is magnetic, so I mean, if I could magnetize them, then... Let's see, magnetize my yeah. bit again. And the screws... Nope, the screws are plated to the thickness where... Can't do anything. Okay, I'm it. going to say something that probably I would regret, but <laughs> because because uh, if I had a, a polycarbonate keyboard, I would do this, and it would probably be a bad idea. But I would want to test if uh, it is possible to use uh, nylon screws uh, it, with a polycarbonate. It, it is. Okay. Yeah, but nylon. I think that they might break. They might break if you don't use a proper. Like, if you don't screw them properly. That's why everyone should get um, either a WOW stick or ES120 or some kind of, you know, automatic torque-based screwdriver. Yeah. So, if you guys are watching and yeah. don't already yeah. have a very fancy screwdriver for $100 or a cheaper one for $40, you should get one. Yours yours is programmable, right? Yeah, can... mine's, mine's programmable. Yeah, my, mine, is, mine isn't, uh, but it's actually really, really gentle. So that's how it, it works better than I would do, basically. Geo says, make sure it's the latest WoW stick, the old one is poop. Yeah, that's the one Xamon has. Um, the, the uh, yeah, one. I have the, the latest one. The one that comes with basically everything oh, that you kit. need. Yeah. It comes like with 20 or 30 tips and, well, bits, sorry. Uh, 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 magnetic mat, uh, magnetizer. What else? It comes with a bottle. I don't know why. A plastic bottle, I think. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of stuff, and I have used it for with the acrylic case. With uh, well, some keyboards that I have shipped. I I use that that, that the screwdriver. I use it with the topper plate. And I commented yesterday to to Huey that. Thanks to that, I, I didn't have to worry about balancing the screws because it basically does that for you. Yeah. Okay. Is the top. It saves you. It also saves you a lot of time, and you know, when you when you we are we are with very expensive keyboards, and if you have like if you only build one or two, just get a cheap ten dollar kit. But if you're going to build five or more. It's forty dollars, and you will use it basically with any electrical equipment that you have and yeah. needs to be yeah. repaired or something. Link to the wall stick, okay? Uh, AliExpress. There, are, I I wouldn't recommend any like. Maybe maybe in Amazon, you can get it. Amazon. Uh. How loud is that? 
and off. Whoa, it's stick. Try that game down. Bro, oh, it's... What's, what's the new one? You probably know what's, what's, uh, the new one, the, the, the model. 1F Plus, I think. I think this is the one I, I have. Turn the music back on. Because the music stops. But yes, it, it comes with a lot of... 1P Plus? It comes with a lot of one, accessories. I think it's 1F. Yeah. I think it's the 1F. One if, 1F plus. 1F plus. I know if it, it if it's what wall stick 1F plus all this stuff or 1F plus. 1FS. Okay. Uh I don't know which which one is the latest. <clears throat> but if not get the, the one that Huey has. Which is the Mine's, mine's definitely on the pricey side. Mine doesn't come with any bits. It's just like better in general. Do I have an affiliate link? I can generate an affiliate link uh, for you. If, 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 if you. if you can wait till I finish desoldering, I can generate, auto generate an <laughs> affiliate link. Oh, but this is the ES121 V, ES121, ES120, ES. Oh. That's the, 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 the bits, okay. But the bits are, are, are a standard. Like, they have a standard connector, so you can use basically whatever you have. I should also get a, a desoldering gun. Because every time, like, you know, desoldering isn't that hard. It's just that. It's a painful process that I want to avoid. And yeah. just looking at you with the the soldering gun, the soldering so fast and so easily. <laughs> like the thing is that uh, with with the soldering gun, you basically avoid a lot of issues that you could have. Yeah. So if you if you have access to a soldering gun because of the maker space or you you've got, like there's a shop that uses and they let you use the soldering gun, use it. There is to use. It's faster, it's safer than this other thing with a with a pump, I guess. Feel but don't be a dick and, yeah. and, do, and do maintenance to it, it. It's one of those things that if you can't afford it or you have access to it, even a cheaper model than like the FR301, which I have, which is a very expensive model. There are definitely like 100 to 120 dollar models that are much more affordable while still offering good which, value. Um, yeah, th there was one that. I think Warden recommended me that it was like 80 packs. Oh, wow. Something like that. Was it the uh, ZD915 or the ZD985, maybe? ZD915. I, I, I used to use the ZD915. Pretty nine, good. 985915. Nine, one, nine, one, the Solar Station. Oh. That one is the one that I have seen a lot. Yeah. Yeah, but again, if, if you if you have a lot of uh, in Europe, we are actually two thirty, two thirty volts. Cheapest price. Oh so yeah, the CD the CD ninety five, sixty seven euros. That's actually really nice. I should get it because... Uh, basically, it makes keyboard hot swappable. 
Let's let's say it that way. <laughs> it does make it that easy. Um, so I, I I'm actually I'm, I am actually at a tricky part of the of the desoldering process, which are these two pins between this jumper wire that I made. Oof. This is this is gonna be the uh, this is gonna be the I gotta be careful kind of part. Speaking of like SMD and jumping. Do you think people would That's, care to see a how to solder, you know, these RGB SMDs with like a normal soldering gun? Because a uh, normal soldering iron? Because I did, and I feel like I, I've been asked quite a few times from people like, do they use like kind of specialized? I just use like a normal, like a, let's see if I have it. I use a skinny tip like this. Very, oh, I'm I'm very thin. Yeah, I use a thin tip. Solder, right? I use no, I use my normal solder actually. Um, I should get a smaller diameter and make it easier, but, uh, mm -hmm. no, I just use, like, a small tip like this. Hey, but you shouldn't be, you shouldn't have issues with the, with the RGB, well, th with the jumper and the, yeah, well, and the, the two. The wire should, should be fine. If you move the wire away. I don't know. Okay, let's move the other way. But 67 euros for the soldering station, that's not a bad price, that's actually a really good price. So I'm gonna show everyone a, a, a little funny. That's a little funny something I did uh, while desoldering one time with um, Zeal Switch bottoms. I was like, I don't know. One day I was like super sleepy, but I saw I did like some keyboard stuff. I was desoldering, and then like it's hard to tell from your view, but from my view, when you look at the sideways, right, you see all these silver dots and these clear dots. And for just one switch, I got it mixed up, and I tried to desolder a bottom nub of a switch, which just melts it. So don't do that, everyone. Don't uh. Don't don't desolder your, your the bottom nub of the zill switch. Well, there are actually a couple of good uh, desoldering stations for around 70 euros. It's, it's a pretty nice price. Yeah, that's that's pretty good, actually. Like the CD9915, the CD8915, the CD985. Yeah, the, the 985 and 915 are actually, they're mechanically similar. The only difference other than how they look is the 985 has an auto sleep function. But otherwise, the heating element is the same between both of them. Yeah, and there's also the 8915, which I don't know what's the difference. Well, basically, this the spare parts. I guess. Yeah, the, the, the 8915 which is like six euros more expensive comes with the soldering gun clearing tool and something a spare filters or something like that yeah so you ask if i'm re ready the issues on the lubricant correctly the half plate version is good to go yeah the half plate version is good to go i didn't touch the like the plate has 14 millimeter by 14 millimeter holes which is the cherry spec and I, I don't want to, like, I could do what, what I could do would, would be reducing the size of the holes. The problem with that is that every laser cutter is different, and every person that uses the laser cut, uh, the laser cut will, will do it differently. 
and they can, if you do it like, a, if a hobbyist does that, they will probably set the curve, probably to a lower value for the plate. And the issue was that the switches didn't actually clip that very well, so you can solve it very easily with just some electrical tape around the, the switch. Like a thing, uh, not even a, a lot of a lot of electrical tape, and you just need a very thin layer, and that's it. Very thin strip, and around the, you know, yeah. Um, it's it's it's, and the, also the, probably the other issue would be with the uh, screws, but it's not really an issue. You can also fix it with some masking tape, or using longer screws and some nuts or some standoffs. I, I really the only change that I actually did was adding a third hole for the confit, so you would avoid like you you, you would use three confits and you wouldn't have any flex in the middle. That's it, that's the only difference. That and that I increased the, the size of those holes, but yeah. And we're currently waiting for the prototype, uh, for the prototype PCBs to arrive. So we can build uh, a keyboard with all custom parts, like a real Alice keyboard with all custom parts, not a Jukeski PCB, which is my case. Uh, I'm making mine uh, with a wood top, wood bottom, and I think all smoky acrylic, oh no, pink frosted acrylic mids. Yeah, that's a good, that's actually a good idea. Like, the good part about the, the acrylic is that it, it is very flexible. Like, when, when we talk about customization, and there are and there are, there are a lot of options. The problem is that it is probably that the minimum order quantity. Uh, you need at least a couple people to order the case to really start benefiting for, from that. Yeah. Because the, 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 the laser cut, if you order a one-off, it's eighty or ninety uh, dollars. I don't know, probably eighty dollars. If you order three or four. It goes down really, really fast, and it probably is sixty or seventy. Oh, real quick, Ray, in, in chat. Uh, yeah, Ray, real quick. I thought I hit, you thought I hit affiliate. I thought I hit affiliate as well, because on Wednesday stream I was six out of seven, right? When I ended Wednesday stream, I was still six out of seven with my required streams, and I was like, what the heck? So I checked the timestamps on when I started the first out of seven and that seventh out of seven, and the issue is on how Twitch um, Twitch's calendar works. I ended Wednesday stream about 30 minutes too late to get that seven out of seven. So it counted as rolling it to the next day of the month. So I remained at six out of seven. So here I am doing a surprise Sunday stream. Oh, no. <laughs> so I get to hit affiliate because I ended my Wednesday stream like half an hour too late. So story of my life. <laughs> you know, I still have some money that I could have spent making some acrylic cases so I don't know what I what I, what I will do with it but I have to I have to spend it some way <laughs> maybe maybe I will make some stands oh yeah some keyboard stands would be pretty nice yeah because like I have quite a lot of money <laughs> that were supposed to be for a case I could use it for quite a lot of stands you should ask them what's the thickest acrylic they have and see if you make a wrist rest out of it. Oh, they, they have 8mm acrylic. Yeah. But it's like, you know, uh, using the acrylic for that is not something that I really want. Because I'm not, I don't really use uh, wrist rests actually, so. Yeah, but it would look great in pictures. It would look great in <laughs> pictures, and I could have some. That's what you do it for. Yeah, basically. 
but I but I don't like to like I don't like that that kind of stuff. We we have a word in Spanish for that, and that's like like the, the translation in English is basically posing for for the picture. And well, it's it's more like pretending that you use something when you don't use. Yeah. And I don't like that kind of thing. I basically all I have, I want to use it. So I wouldn't make a, a wrist rest just for pictures, or I wouldn't make a stand just for pictures. I would make the stand so I could store the keywords closer together and in vertical, so I could also display them and pick them faster. That's why I would make a stand, not not to go to somewhere and post it on Reddit and get some upvotes. So for me it would be more like a functional piece that I could have on my desk and I could like uh, maybe store two keywords at a time or three keywords at a time. Because right now if, if you go to my room I have like four keywords uh, wrapped in t-shirts uh, in, in, in a... In a well, just sitting there, and <laughs> obviously, <coughs> it would be nicer to have them. This, like, I could. See, it would be nicer to see them every day and see. Wow, this is a nice keyboard. Oh yeah. After... So I, I would need basically a cabinet, Ooh. and and some stands. My problem is that I don't know how big the cabinets are. I, I know that there's a, an IKEA one that is actually pretty cheap for what it is that everyone has for their anime figurines. I'm talking about Adam. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. After after I desolder, um, I'll show everyone my my yes. current storage solution for keyboards, which uh is okay. It, it it gets me by at the time being, but I need to I need to work on my keyboard storage just because I'm out of keyboard storage space. Like, oh yeah, it's pretty bad. I just want to to work on my keyboard storage because if if I do the same that I have done with Verne, it's like I'm I think I'm keeping like one, two. I think I'm keeping like three keyboards or four keyboards. <laughs> so. Probably, probably I will keep less, but we start adding that and each keyboard that I make I keep like two or three. We are going to end up with, with a space situation. Oh yes, that's that that, that solution that uh, Nebulon has posted. That's a Billy. That's a Billy... Uh, Billy the bookcase? Shelf. Yeah, the bookshelf. Yeah. That could be a solution, but I'm, I, I actually want more like uh, a cabinet. So uh, for Billy, I think you can buy uh, buy uh, doors for it to make it more cabinet-like, both in both glass yeah. or wood, if I remember correctly. I would want something like this, Let's see what this which is. is the the tall thing. Because you can also hook some LED lights around ah, yes, and have a tools. nice lighting around the keyboard, like all around the keyboard. If I had a living room I could dedicate to keyboards, I would have quite a few details. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's what people do with their anime figurines. <laughs> uh, yeah. Not me though. I don't have space for that. I store my keyboards instead. Mine are just chill on my desk. The room, the problem with with these uh, with cabinets is that you expose the ABS to UV light every day, and that's not actually. I mean, it's okay, but it's not good. So, if you have a cabinet, make sure that it doesn't get hit directly by sunlight every day. Otherwise, you're going to end up with plastic yellowing really fast. But with any plastic, just also with Legos and and everything. I have Legos that you know aren't exposed to the direct light. 
but I have them on a shelf and because they aren't exposed to to that. The color is actually, I don't know if they improve the ABS or something, but the color is actually really good after all these years. I think a lot of um, plastic zoos are, plastics these days have come some kind of like preservative to help against the yellowing. Maybe. Oh, yeah. But I was uh, nebulant. I I'm talking more like a budget solution. That one that you posted is a better solution, but it's more expensive. And I don't know if the, the keyboard. I don't know if, if I can. The biggest size of keyboards that I'm going to have probably is uh, it's going to be. Oh yes, I can fit a tanky list. Oh nice. Yeah yeah, I found a picture. Oh. Uh, four shelves, and I have more there. Oh, so the, the, there's somebody that modded the, the the thing, so you could have more keyboards. The bookshelf was cheaper. Yeah, the book bookshelves are, are cheaper actually. Yeah, but well, when you when you have your own when 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 the keyboard is is your own thing, you want display it so everyone watches like everyone that, that goes into your room sees that keyboard I didn't know that I could fit uh, a tank laser but now I know how, how, have to how tight is the, one. wait how tight is the fit for the ten kilos though like is it like uh, barely fitting and you can't get your fingertips on the outsides if you're doing that? Or is it like comfortably inside? Uh, I think that you can... It's not... It's not you, you can't fit a lot of keyboards. Like if you if you see the picture... Yeah, you, you can get the, the keyboard out there, but you can't fit more than two keyboards per shelf. A nebulous solution... Uh, Everyone's solution was actually better. So maybe, maybe you should consider that one too. I'm buying a lot of Billy <laughs> bookshelves. Anyways, what I don't want to do is uh, have them uh, have the keyboards outside, I would say, like without a glass or something, so they get dusty and my room is pretty dusty and I know that when you have a lot of things around, it gets dusty very, very quickly. Yep. So I don't want to, so I don't want to, to get the keyboards in, a, in that position. Like, I don't want to get the keyboards uh, exposed to the dust every day. But yeah, everybody, almost everyone that, that has like a collection of something is using the the the, the, Dolph, the, the Dolph display cabinet. One, two, three. My desoldering gun is starting to sound weird. I'm trying to see if I can finish. Desoldering before needing to clean it. I think that IKEA should basically just make a big one. It is just glass. Because people actually buy these and like they they buy four of them, five of them. The room shelf I use. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Headland.
but I have bad, bad experiences with with bellies and and wait on them. The soldering gun wants to die right now from the sounds of it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely struggling, but I'm done. So, after... How, how, how often do you have to clean the, the soldering gun? About every, Basically, other, every other board. Every, after, every other board if I wanted yeah. to maintain like peak performance. That's the responsible thing to do. Is it difficult to clean it? No, I'll do it, it just like I'll do it on the stream right now. A, a hand pump. Uh, it's harder than a hand. Uh, a little hard, a little more difficult than a hand pump, but it's still pretty easy. Do it right now on stream. Let me get some gloves on because it's hot. Oh my gloves! Okay. Step one: get some gloves out. Actually, I'll take switches out and then I'll clean. Uh, no, actually, I want to clean it when it's warm, so it's easier to get some of the solder out. I might burn myself. Ugh. It's always the, the struggle. Okay. FR301. Cleaning it out by Man of Interest. Take your FR301. You squeeze the black part back, which will let you, which will release the capsule that will contain all your mm -hmm. spent solder. You can see the filter in the back is still nice and eh, it's staining a little bit, but not too bad. Okay. I actually just dumped some spent solder on my table. Nice. Good job, Ely. Uh, the front parts. Just take that rubber gasket out. And then we can just dump this spent solder in a trash bin. Or if you're particularly responsible in the correct recycling location in your local jurisdiction. The problem is that there, there isn't really a, a one for that kind of residue, I think. There's, there's supposed to be, but... No one knows. Like you, sh where you, you, you have to go basically to the to the recycling center directly and get those. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes there may be some difficult pieces, so you'll need some kind of metal sharp and pokey to scrape them out. We'll have to do it so for the for the PCBs that I have for Bernie because I have like. Lots of FR4 that needs to be recycled or at least needs to be posed responsibly. Might be pretty stubborn to get out, so sometimes better to use a uh, like something like a screwdriver, more solid. And after some hard work. I'm just trying to, you know, deattach it. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, I'm now the father of a little, little, little solder baby, right here. Let's zoom in on this guy right here. Good chunk of it. Oh, it's totally oh, it's, right it's actually easier to clean the capsule than sweep all this excess. Than trash bin because I'm responsible um, and then what you do after you take the majority out is you take the other side out the reason you don't take the other side first is sometimes solder may be stuck to this base metal plate and the sides and you'll end up ripping the rubber because it is attached to that rubber and then what you do is you uh, take it out and you check the condition of your filter as you see my filter on the inside outside it was pretty clean inside here that's it's just about spent, so we're gonna we're gonna replace it. And, and you know what? Why I want a, a desoldering gun? It's because I have a white fox keyboard, and because that uh, that was soldered by in, in the factory, and it has LEDs. It's basically impossible to desolder those LEDs without an, a good desoldering gun. Yeah. At least to me. Yeah, you need a good desoldering gun, and what do you need to do to make those easier? is add some unleaded solder to it. Unleaded? I'm sorry, add, add leaded solder to it. Oh. 
Yes, add, add, add your own solder because that'll give it more malleability. Um, and it'll be easier to desolder. So I'm gonna take this, put this piece back in. Something else I particularly like. My problem with the white post was that it comes with LEDs. The yes. original one. Yeah. I'm talking about the white fox, the round one, uh, white fox, and it comes with LEDs. And you know they aren't the small LEDs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're the, they're so they basically hit uh, SA keycaps. They basically hit uh, GMK keycaps, and they hit DSA keycaps. They hit basically any any keycap profile, and because I wanted to remove those, well, I don't know. I think I, I want to recycle that case for something and use it for something. Yeah. So it, it would be nice if I could remove those those uh, switches and LEDs and replace them with some switches that I like more and some LEDs that I like more so I can use the keyboards use the keyword a little bit more than what I use right now, which is zero use. I haven't touched that keyword for like years now, which is a shame. But it's because of the LEDs, basically. Ray, let me get you a link for a bigger one as well, if you want a bigger one. Just uh, getting, getting my Amazon affiliate links together, you know. Oh, but what you have there is like a, a cutting box, a, a cutting board, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a cutting mat, a self-healing cutting mat. Oh, yeah. It's used for people who are in um, uh, tailoring or like, you know, like sewing. And knitting. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's why it comes with the angles and the, yeah. Yeah. Also, why I have a ton of cut marks in mine because I've used to cut things on it. Yeah, but I, I I have like a small one, and I really appreciate having it because sometimes you have you cut something and you don't realize that you might be cutting something else and I did that with my brother's desk <laughs> yep fortunately there was a mat underneath my mat so I cut the mat another mat but imagine <laughs> underneath that mat there was glass Ooh. so yeah something I could I would like to avoid <laughs> Cutting, actually. Well, more like. Oh my god! The only thing I don't like about single plate is, you know, same manufacturer as all the TGR boards, so the plate is way, way too tight. Oh. So even switches. the same manufacturer as. Do you have a number one, sixty-five? Oh what? You have a TGR. You have. Yeah. A I did, Singer. I did Singer. I well, it's the same man. It's the same manufacturer as, as Verne. Oh, okay. Well, do I have to worry about an overly tight plate? No. Okay, that's good. No, to my knowledge. I, I have built up a plate. Uh, like, I have built a keyboard with the new plates and the old plates, and I didn't change the, the holes. And they feel nice. That's good. Yeah, I mean, it's a good manufacturer. It's just like, it, 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 clips, it clips nicely, and it's not... I don't think it's... it's it might be the, the holes that they use, or I don't know. Sometimes, you know, it, it depends who, who who is tweaking those files when, when you send them, I guess. And you will enjoy some nice uh I just assume stack holes. at this point it's uh it's um you'd see Sam spec because Singa, um Polycarb nine ten, Jane, Alice, with all their brass plates way too tight for anything but like just for everything in general I, I think that's rare because uh, 
I have heard that uh, Will was number 165. He the, the, his plate was a little bit too tight. The the one that he got first, but uh, Ryder replaced that with another one. But I would have to ask. I mean, if if Olivia had built her keyboard, I would too. <laughs> I could tell you whether, whether, whether that's, that's, the that's, plate that's, is too tight or a, not because she has one and she hasn't built it. She has a backlog of like a dozen keyboards. Yeah, she, she has a huge backlog. She was the first to get the keyboard. <laughs> I think. It's so tight. Yeah. The only way I can really get these out reliably is poking them through the back. That's why I'm doing this. Otherwise, I would not really normally do this. So you're going to to enjoy the production plate, Verne. I'm looking forward to it. Like the, there are, there are some good things about the the production plate, which I mean, one of them is the relief cuts, which actually there are relief cuts on the new plates, and those relief cuts help with. They are not for flexing for, for flexibility of the plate. They are for sound, mm -hmm. and they work really well. That's good. Uh, real quick, Ray. Uh, Ray, do you need? Uh, the, uh, 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 sorry, real quick. Uh, Ray, do you need an affiliate link to one of the, uh, the smaller, smaller mats? Let me know what size. The uh, sound. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I I added the, the relief cuts after testing with the prototypes that we has. The, the prototypes have like a, a resonance issue. When you hit the the U key, you hit the U and it it resonates and you you hit you 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 hear the plate huh. vibrating. Well, 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 you know you know that feeling when when basically it pings, and by adding the relief cuts in some specific areas that are that were in contact with the aluminum, uh, because you you reduce the. I I guess the contact the, the surface area, with the aluminum and. You you add some new holes, you prevent those sound. You prevent you prevent basically you prevent uh, those undesired uh, resonances. I would say the pinging. Yes. And it and and that's the reason and that's what what I'm also what that's what I want to to test with. Uh, with Jules, which is the 65% version of Verne, and yeah, and it's something that Will but probably wants to test too with uh, the thermal plate. Yes. Um, well, he he, the thermal plate is actually it has the, the spring a lot of theory, theory crafting behind. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've, he's mentioned it to me. Just... Yeah, I ha I have seen it. <laughs> I I know how it works, and you know the reason why why Wilba is secretive about it, and about how it how it dismounts and everything, is because he doesn't want people to use it before he confirms that it is a usable mounting system. Yeah, for sure. Otherwise, you would end up with people copying something. Because people just do that, they yeah. they would copy it, and they wouldn't understand how it works or whether it is a good idea. It has happened with the gaskets. Mm -hmm. People trying to make gasket mount keyboards and not doing it proper, like just just for the for the sake of saying this keyboard has a gasket. It's a, it's a new modern keyboard, everyone. It's gaskets. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. Um, Ray that's, Asian, a, that's the trend of 2018. Ray, you can also pick up those mats at like a Joann's or like any kind of fabric store for the big full size ones. I'm probably going to be doing that um, during the week because mine's pretty small. If it's smaller than my camera frame, it's not big enough. And it's actually not a bad background for streaming. That's good. That's why, that's why like, everyone has one now. Because I was like, yeah. hey, I'm going to use this. And everyone but everyone was like, Huey, where'd you get that? And I'm like, just a cutting mat. Then I saw everyone else do, 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 do. I think I have seen uh, that mat, but with just the the like the gray version of this, with without the, the white part. The, 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 you mean like 
the the other side of my mat. No, no. I mean the. I think that there's a gray version of this. Like, oh you yeah, see yeah, yeah, there your, is. Your one is has like light gray or off white and dark gray. So just the dark gray. Uh yeah yeah there I think there, I think there is yeah. If I remember correctly, which one? I think I have seen a picture of it. It looks it looks great in photos and it, and it is a nice piece of, like it's it's a nice mat to have. Ooh, they sell it at Walmart now. Thanks for the heads up, Moel, because I know uh, a lot of places mark them up. Like, Nablin says Michael's has them marked up like 600%. <laughs> Are they charging like 60 bucks for a oh, yeah. mat then? Damn. Savage, Michael's. That's unfortunate. Yeah. It, it, it's a piece of plastic. Yeah, essentially. Now I gotta do the, the big long think of what switches are gonna go in here next. Helios. Helios. <laughs> It'd be like my fourth Helio board. I bought some Helios and I, I need to use them somewhere. I was actually thinking possibly Helios or Luke no, but, Face Witches. But what was the problem with these Helios? The, the springs or the loop? For what? These switches? Yeah. The plate was too tight. No, these aren't Helios. These are uh, Xylos. Oh, so you're replacing the plate. No, 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 I'm gonna keep the plate, unfortunately. Cause I don't have a replacement plate. Um, nor do I want to get a replacement plate. I'm just gonna use different switches. I gotta figure it out. Just gotta figure it out. I think I have, which, oh, so in my keyboard U, they sold Tribus is 3204. Yeah. Yes. That's the one I have. I think I have. That, that's the one I have, and I will probably use it to loop some switches. I would get some 205, but. Yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> and 3204, three, like, because the problem is basically sh shipping. And if you, if you buy it from Europe, it, it's cheap. The shipping, but if you buy it from Krellbit, because he's in the US, it's not that cheap. Yeah. So you have to buy a lot of loop, and I don't want to buy a lot of loop. Actually, like that. But I don't know. I'm thinking basically, not even doing that anymore, and just buying the switches and sending them to somebody to loop them for me, because looping is something that I really don't like to do. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a quite a few people who do lubing now although a lot of people will get into lubing and then they get out just as quick as they get in because they realize how tedious and how yeah. tedious it is when like you have like a thousand switches you have to do that's different from like that's different compared to like spreading out a thousand switches through several of your own builds right like if you have to do a thousand yeah. switches and then you just send them out like when you have to sit down and do all them that's tough like that's boring it's dull Yeah, and, and my problem with Lubing is that uh, I don't know if I'm doing it properly or not. Just, just, just do the the, the, the Woden method. Oh, I, I, I did it. I did it with my latest build, I think. I think I had... Which, which was... I don't know which one was. Uh, I think it was the... One of the, of the burners that it has. He said, fuck it, I will do the water method and basically got the stems and I bag loop them with a mix of loops that I didn't want to, to talk about, but it was a mix of loops. <laughs> a mix of loops you don't want to talk about, wow. Yeah, it was, it was a mix of loops and it had 15, 14 and it had, I think, 3, 2, or 4. There was a mix of, of some loops. I had some samples, like 5 millimeters of each and it said, Fuck it. 
Let, let's just take all of them, mix them. This will be as good as a store uni loops. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. And and I back loop the the springs and I back loop the the stems. And they actually feel pretty nice. Huh? Well, and it was nice. probably and and even 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 though I back loop back loop those, it took a lot of time. But yeah. actually, I can't imagine like. And I have looping station, <laughs> which I probably should should use the acrylic to make a, a big, huge looping station. And it sucks. Looping sucks. Like looping if you sucks. even with the proper tooling and if you have the experience. That's why I don't lube on stream too often, because yeah. I think it's boring it's, to watch, but people like watching it for some reason. So sometimes I'll do it. I, I, but it I don't think it... I don't think it's I don't think it's 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 uh, entertaining to but watch. But it like... makes but it makes go uh, it makes the lubing longer. I think well, usually when I lube because I get bored, I just end up like rambling about stuff. And I think people are actually what, t t trying to tell me to ramble without saying, "Here we can he ramble about something by telling me to lube yeah, but... instead." But for that, for that, you just do another a podcast or something. Yeah, you do yeah, about whatever you want. Yeah, I think I think that's what people actually want when I lube. Just hear yeah. what I'm gonna rant on about next. Because like lubing Which is like completely drives fine. my patience, so I start ranting about all certain all sorts of certain stuff. Right? You hate lubing and you hate watching people. You hate watching people lube. Yeah. Yeah, I hate lubing. I hate. Yeah, and I and even even when. Okay, so lately, Nathan, because of Nathan's uh, schedule, I watch, or well, sometimes Kelly too. He streams early, early, early European. So I watch Nathan, and when he's he's lubing, he he spends like just thirty minutes or so lubing and tweaking the staffs. 30, 45 minutes. A lot of time. That's a lot of time, yeah. Yeah. And and if you see my, my stab lubing technique is basically I get the, the dielectric grease and I said mm. Okay, so here's the wire, here's the dielectric grease, put a lot of dielectric <laughs> grease in the wire and that's it. Wire meat grease. Grease meat wire. Well, let's go. Wire meat grease meat, grease meat wire and then you take a uh a brush and you add a little bit of 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 grease inside the the stab hole well the the, the stab receptacle the mm -hmm. the stem whatever you yeah, want to call yeah. it you shouldn't be looping i don't know what 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 do you think Huey, but i think that you shouldn't be looping the outside of the of the receptacle what do you mean the outside of the receptacle? oh um we mean where physically i i lube where the wire clips in that channel, yes. the bottom part where the yes. wire sits. Um, yes. Yeah, and then and then the sides of the thing. Like, wait, wait where, where else are you, are you talking about? I'm, I'm uh, I, I loop the the wire. Right. Okay. I okay. see it here. Okay. Where the where the wire meets the stab, where the wire clips, like you you basically hold on, hold on. loop the the I'm, end I'm, of, I'm the, of the wire. So the audience can can see but, what we're talking about. Okay, I'm getting the zoom in. Okay, we'll, we'll start we'll start we'll start with the here's the wire. I guess it would take like 50 to 10 seconds to catch up. <laughs> no, probably more because the, the stream is frozen for me. <laughs> but it doesn't it doesn't matter. So here's the wire. Okay, so keep talking. <laughs> here's the wire, and then from the wire. Okay, yeah, we, I got, I, I, I got where it clips in. Okay, underneath yes. this wire, there's that that channel. I lube that. Okay. Yes. And then I lube where the wire goes into the. The, the the peg thing this this you know the hole so when as it goes ups and down it doesn't rattle inside of that okay so yeah then, i agree course, with that i think that th those those are just a little bit on the side the, the points where you, where you should be looping you shouldn't be looping i i think that you shouldn't be looping around the stem you like here on, on these sides like you you know that the the if the stab has like two channels or, well, it has like two two columns or something, two rails. You shouldn't be lubing those because they are not going to mm, contact the 
housing of the staff most of the time. So if you loop the outside of the stem of the receptacle, whatever you want to call it, the, the plastic piece that goes in the middle, you're actually creating issues that weren't there, I think. I I, I don't think so. I think it I think it's it, it works okay. I think the, the effects are small but still positive. I don't think it's necessary, personally. That's yeah. That's 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 pretty 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 reasonable. Um, but I I think it's more important to loop the inside of the of the stem. Yeah. That the outside of it. There you go. Is is is, is this audience? Is is this uh, is this how I get away from needing to make a a that the community's like eighth stab lube guide video because I think there's like. Four or five actually good stabilizer lube guides, right? Maybe. I think there's quite a few in the community that are pretty good. No, it's not. I don't need well, to turn my mic up. I just need to like talk into my mic because it's shotgun. Well, I think that the problem with the stab loops, well, with the stab loop guides, is that they need to be. We, we learn a little bit more every day about how to do this this properly and some of them some of the popular ones might be a little bit outdated for instance the the band aid mods apparently nobody does it right now doesn't nathan still do the band aid mod no he doesn't oh he stops good for him i'm happy he did because it's a bad mod i i have like some of them with band aids and something that i was in and some of them without them and the band-aids, maybe, maybe what people want is a, uh, a stab silencing pad or something like that. That you, you know, you know the silencing pads for the, for Topre. Yes. The ones that, that Kiklax sells. Yes. So, ba so basically the same material yeah. and you stick that to the underneath of the, of the stab that hammers the, the PCB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what... That, that would be a reasonable mod and would work better than a band-aid but band-aid is the you, worst one of the worst trends in keyboard modding in my opinion you know why, why is it bad it's bad because it's not easy to cut it properly yeah it's bad because you probably end up with a, a thicker most of the time you will end up using a thicker piece of band-aid than what you need and what people actually need, if they want to silence the bottom dam of the stab, is some kind of thing, uh, cushion, like the, the the ones that Topre has for the well, Kikla has, like the landing pads or whatever you want to to call them. Which is a, a thin piece of rubber that you stick to the underneath of the of the stab. Yeah, but also the there are there are another mods. Rama had the, the electrical shrink. like the, he the heat heat hitsing one. I could try that right now. I haven't I actually haven't tried it. Some people say I, ha not, I should try it to make a video out of it. I've heard bad things about it though. To be perfectly it's honest, it's not. Uh, it looks good because you know it it doesn't look bad. I mean, but it it's not useful. It, it, it looks sleek because you know it's heat shrink and like it conforms to yeah, yeah. the curves of a wire, but it doesn't make doesn't mean it's good. Yeah, it, it's not good at all. And if anything, just add this heat shrink to the middle of the wire, so it looks cooler. <laughs> <laughs> add it to the middle, so it looks cool. <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> but. We, Otherwise, it's it's not a good mod because uh, okay. So if we talk about stabs, there there are ways to improve them, and I hope that the Rama project that he was making about remaking the stabs works, or basically anybody makes a stab that is a little bit of improvement. And the improvements to the stabs are. Either you revisit the stuff and make it completely different than 
how it was made to this day. Or you add a little mods to the current steps, to the, the steps that are done nowadays. Yep. And the even even if you improve the steps, silencing the steps when? Okay, so silencing the steps we, we were talking about that. Just add some just make just make a silencing path and add it to the bottom of the of the stab. Which is the one that will hit the PCB. Because uh Yeah, you could also silence the the up the, the upstroke using the same method. I have an idea. It would have to take a lot of work that no one's gonna do. Okay. But maybe I'll try it. Let me let me see can I, could I technically do it on this PCB? Yeah yeah, I no, I I couldn't uh no I uh Kind of. But, see, it only works on a PCB that has a fixed layout, okay? Here's my idea. Oh. So you know how for the Zeal 60, um, Zeal, Zeal 60 PCBs, um, he has the holes in the PCB where he inserts the, SM, the RGB LEDs, like, in line with the PCB material. Like, it's not, you know, yes. on top. It's in line. You do that, but with silencing pads where the stabilizers would hit the PCB. So it's not... Yes. So you still have the same travel distance, but it doesn't hit the FR4 material. Instead, at the bottom, it hits whatever silencing pad that you insert that's at the PCB level. And the reason it has to be fixed layout is because you don't want any traces to go through that. Because it's going to be, you know, where some kind of silencing material is. It's very labor-intensive, and uh, it's going to require work of uh, PCB designers to actually could go along with it. But, uh... That would work. Okay, so let me see. I have a couple PCBs here. Let's see. Let's see if it's possible with any existing Wilba PCB. Okay, let's see. Is it possible to do this with? No, it's not possible to do it. With a tankless PCB. He has traces going through the, those areas? Uh, yeah, always. You will have traces going around those areas. For instance, if you have a 7 unit spacebar, the stab it will be underneath one of the... It will be sharing the space of one of the switches of the standard layout. But I will say, like... You know, you know, you know, have you tried the silencing pads? The silencing pads? Key, the key cloud ones, like the, the... I have not. I want to. So they, they are, they are extremely thin, actually. That's They're good. very, you, very thin. You, 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 so, you don't want to take away from uh, the travel distance, so that's good that they're Yeah. Thin. So... So they, they don't affect that much the travel distance and that's exactly what you want. And the, the problem with the and because they are made out of out of rubber, they actually compress a little bit. And I don't think you would notice. Oops. It's actually it's actually something that I wish uh, somebody would ex would, would ex uh, explore. Because uh, the stabs are actually a piece of equipment that you want to silence uh, always. Essentially. Yeah. And the perfect stab is the one that you can't notice. That, that's why people, when they build a plank, they build it without the stab most of the time. If yeah. they use a two unit spacebar. Because otherwise, uh, it's a piece, like, you, you are going to hit it so much, so many times, and when the planks were, and, and, the, and, and the filling of the two unit spacebar compared to the, to the one unit spacebar, or to, to, because you only have one unit keycaps, the filling is so different that you note a lot that is stab there. 
and with my with my plank that they they use the the shitty Chinese stabs. It was the Ooh. round two or round three plank. Yeah, it was the, the one in 2016, I think. Learn Jack got a lot of flack for that, and, and yeah, that was because Mass Drop was like, we're gonna use who we want for the stabilizers, and Jack was like, okay. Yeah, we we're going to use whatever whatever whoever we want for the stabilizer, and yeah. Yeah, I'm going to use this this factory for the for the plates and the plates were really bad. And Mashup's like, hey Jack, remember when you signed that contract saying we could choose the stabilizers? Well, we can, and we're going to. Yeah, the the, the stabs were <laughs> so so. Mine mine was the the round that the stabs were awful, and the and the plate was awful, and. It was one of, one of the one on of the bad on, rounds, I would say. But they, I think I got a, a ten dollar refund for for the plate. I should have asked for for more because the plate is basically unusable unless you have a Dremel. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Yep, yep. And uh, I thought that I was doing ooh. something bad because it it was the first cube that I that I had built. It's okay so, in a. In the uh, original one that he and uh, Nianbo sent me, not the original one, but like the one I did the review for Talkback like a year ago. This yeah. is at this point, you know, round five or six. They sent me a plate where one of the switch, just one of the switches, it was like near the middle as well. Near the middle wasn't the same spacing. So it didn't align with the PCB. <laughs> It was. I, I, re three, I remember, it was, I remember yeah, that the stream. Three rows three. down, was... three columns uh, left from. From, uh, three columns right from the left. I was like, "Why does this not and, work?" And I, and I and you, took everything out. And you I know, you know, it. you know the best part. You were live streaming it, and you were using the canvas keycaps. Yeah. yeah. And it was like, "Well, I can't build this keyboard." Yep. And and this is this is something that Master sent me, and they didn't check. And yeah, crazy. you know that's why why I, why he was super careful with with the keyboards that I was sending for you and Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> because it was like, okay, let's check the PCV. Let's check again the PCV. And if the PCV is dead, <laughs> I'm going to be really mad. <laughs> Master of and shitty quality check. You know, the, the, the quality check is actually something that you pay so, the so, so, so here's PCV the thing. makers no, 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 the here, here's the thing. Too. Here's the thing, Ray. With the one I got from Mass Shop, it wasn't like from their factory. It was from their San Francisco office. It was like the one they were going to use for pictures and stuff. Yeah. Um, it was like the one they had, like, Yanbo had on hand to build. So, like, I don't know how that got there, but oh my goodness. So, like, no, yeah, no no one checked it at any point in the process till it got to me. And I got this. I'm like, I can't build this. And if, if that one is bad, probably the rest of them that they had with them were bad. <gasps> and this which is which is a shame because what you want to do is double check that those those plates because if those plates were bad maybe when they hit they, they get into production the place that they were making the factory might have issues. Yep. And that's when you do prototypes and you do a couple prototypes and check is everything okay? Is the plate okay? Every, that's it's everything fitting, and if if everything fits, you go back to the, you reach back the factory and tell them, you know, everything was correct. So please do exactly the same as you did with the prototypes. Yeah. And if something is not correct, you try to fix it. Ideally, you would do multiple rounds of prototyping, but that's not viable for uh, such a small production, such a small production runs. So. I mean, with the yeah. plank. Every round is basically like, you know, a prototype run. Because they should be able to fix everything each round. It's like, it should literally get better each round. Not like <laughs> a random round five I got having a bad play. Like they've got four rounds previous, as well as Jack running it independently two rounds previous, and Private selling it um, when he first launched one round previous. So technically, it was like the eighth iteration of the actual plank at that point. Yeah, but, but that wasn't... Like that issue was basically the guys that laser cut, that laser cut that 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 plate, yeah. Yeah. Did, did a bad job. 
No, it's Jack. I know, but it's like, it's it's still yeah. the whole production process, which he and Mashrop Mash Drop oversees. Um, I don't think it was the first time no. they used that, that, that manufacturer for that round either. So, I don't know. I think, I don't know how much... Uh... Jack controls the production of Probably the planks. Not I think anymore. that he has a lot of control now because of the brand name and and because he's the the well one of the of the founders of the QNK product project. Yeah. So because he has that leverage, I think that he can control a lot of the production aspects of the plank. At least the the cases. Because I think they are they still making them in the US? Uh, I, do, I think so. I think just the low pro versions. I forgot. I forgot. Uh, no, but I, I think that uh, Jack at least controls some of the production. I do. I, I, I no longer. I no longer own own a plank, so I have not been not been keeping up. To be honest, I think from I wouldn't. I have a uh, an. What I what I need is not a plank. I need a, a small macro pad, and I, I mean, actually don't need it because I don't stream. But if I streamed, <laughs> I would use a macro pad for for that that kind of things. A plank is actually really big for 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 streaming. I I stream and I don't even have a macro pad, so. But you know the macro pad is is so. You know, uh, yesterday I went to 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 a basketball game. And there were the two guys that do the production for the show for the for the Spanish TV. And basically, they were using two laptops and a mouse, and they were live mixing eight cameras what, and the and the, and the and the and the graphics and everything with two laptops. Hey, and and the audio cost cutting measures. Wow, that's very labor intensive. But holy moly. Good on yeah, before, 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 ten years ago, you would use a track. Nowadays, you can do that with a laptop and a good internet connection. See? Yeah, I'd still rather use a track, but yeah, but that takes like a the, whole they, room, and they had they had like a uh, a knob so they could fade in, fade out, re rewind, yeah, go back in time quickly, go back, and then cut, go. insert fade into it, fade out to it, back to the live. Yeah, yeah. One, one guy was doing that, and the other one mixing. Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Two laptops. <laughs> two laptops. It's, it's, act it's actually really impressive, because it was two laptops and a couple uh, sound cards and and some, and some I don't know what, what, what they use for the cameras, but I was impressed that, because... Ten years ago, it was a huge track outside the, the stadium. So I have good news for we're talking about production stuff for everyone. Um, sometime Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday for which day? I didn't check. I didn't check my tracking number, but I will be receiving two um, USB uh, capture cards. So instead of you having oh. the one for my, you know, my my bench camera, right, for my camcorder here. I can have one hooked up to that, and I can have one hooked up to my mirrorless. So, like on Wednesdays when I have um, the cool wall, I can now seamlessly transition from one to the other without you guys having to watch me for five to ten minutes move cameras, lights around. So that'll be cool. So, that also means so which which ones are you are you getting? Uh, I'm getting them for free. They're the ones that pluggable sells. Uh, oh, the pluggable ones. Yeah, yeah. And then, so when I'm not doing uh, the cool board, I can actually have like my camcorder or my mirrorless as my main camera instead of a dumb webcam. Yeah. Um, and I can get like a nice 12 millimeter wide angle lens so I can look, you know, nice with all that bokeh um, that everyone loves so much. So that's going to be a nice little bump in production value c coming soon to a stream near you. Um, and at the same time, for certain builds, I can use it to toggle between an overhead view and the three-quarters view over my left shoulder, um, depending on what I need to show the audience of what I'm do working on or doing. So, and, and more importantly, it makes you, you already have those cameras, and right now you can't use them for a stream. Yeah, I have two cameras, and I can't so, actually use both. Now I, I can. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you you can use some equipment that is actually really good for the stream. 
really looking forward to it. That's, I think the next thing, I, I, I don't need it, but I want it. That's why it's, it's very low on my like things I need to improve streaming audio mm -hmm. video stuff is a soundboard so oh. I can plug it in and just play sound effects. Oh, yeah, you, and you can hook that soundboard to the controller. Yeah, exactly. Have, right? I, I, I hooked up my phone and I've used my phone before as a soundboard to test out when I was like talking with uh, Smallwind, one of, uh, mm -hmm. one of the cool kids in, uh, in my Discord link down below. You know, but I wouldn't recommend getting getting a soundboard more like I don't know. Maybe I would use a laptop and use that for some of the because you you could have a laptop or something an additional computer and use it for having graphics and transitions and music ready and load those with the OBS or something See, like that and hook the audio to the mixing all, board. All of that would be great if I had a PA. I do not have a PA, I'm a one-man show. So everything would <laughs> have to be pre-done anyway, so just what I do when yeah. I have a lot of like, when I have a lot of graphics and stuff, everything's already like preloaded onto my OBS, and I just click it for it to pop up. If I had like a someone else, it'd be great if I could have that person handle all of this stream element stuff, right? And mixing, and that, oh, that'd be amazing, but. So you're going to get uh, uh, a soundboard with that. God damn it! <laughs> So that's 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 farther down the line though because it's like not terribly it's funny it could be very entertaining yeah but but like in terms of like improving the video or sound quality especially you know making sure the sound quality stays good you know like using the new lav mic and things like you know getting a nice camera stuff then uh those things take priority over a soundboard that i will fill with a lot of very funny sounds <laughs> i do want it though don't get me wrong i really want it yeah but I think that right now, your 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 like your pr priorities when getting the gear, are actually. Okay, I would say. With these two, like, I, I th think I think you went overkill with some with some uh, with some equipment, but yeah, overall, because well, they're doing pretty well. There's there's some equipment that I, I I do get because it's like more for just more than streaming for me. It's just like I double it as streaming, and then when you look at it through streaming, it's overkill. But when it, when I look at it through like filmmaking, it's budget. Yeah, but and, and also you you told me that uh, a lot of the stuff that you get is second hand or yeah, I get oh, and, and, and like you will stuff. and you will sell some of the equipment that you already own. So yeah, when I upgrade, you're I sell. You're, you're basically buying it for really cheap if you think about it. Like oh, yeah. you're upgrading your equipment for not a lot of money. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Um, because there are people that actually spend a lot of money on cameras every year and they sell them really fast and they sell them basically for half the price that they cost. Yeah. I need to figure out how to get this clip to go with my mic. And the good part about filmmaking stuff is that people that own those cameras usually treat them very well and very carefully yeah oh yeah so that's nice there is a set of master right now chalk i'm interested for 59 dollars but i have heard they are not so good chalk that's the uh mm. white on black what's what's that what's the chalk uh, it's Let's the winmix right sa or winmix dsa i don't know Win... I'm, I'm i'm checking it out right now pilot xj uh, Wing da, 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 mix. Da, mech keys shop. No, do not install the Mash Shop app. No. <laughs> I don't want them to have my data. Dice up, dice up PBTSA. Uh, chalk. Uh, Wing mix chalk. Oh, that looks alright. I I know I know I know the set and I know. Isn't it like a copy of Milkshake? Uh, color -wise? I think this set came before Milkshake actually. Is it? Oh, okay. So. What is it? SA? That's... It's not. Like it's it's hard to say that those are copies because oh yeah I mean it's yeah. sorry yeah it's just similar looking um looks fine yeah. but uh, I don't know the problem with dice up is that it could be a, it could be a hit or a miss like it could be really good or really bad and I don't know I wouldn't 
SA feel na feels nice because it's it's shiny and it's soft and PVT usually is grainy. So SA dice up PVT might not be the great the greatest thing. Because SA as a profile is not the best high profile that you can find actually. Yeah, MT3 and Top or High Pro are way better in terms of high profile. MT3 is, MT3 is already better than SA as a high profile. And Top or High Pro is oof. 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 Absolutely oof. It's, it's like a high profile that is actually usable for typing. Yeah. And if you if you if you want to 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 try the high pro profile and you don't want to spend a lot of money get a, a a ping master a chinese ping master which is like $35 because it's very similar to that profile yep 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 i yep. think it's maybe they they are using the same molds it might be possible Because I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know the story, the, the exact story about the, the okay. how Topper has high pro and. I have I have a question for for everyone here. Okay, so I can't get the clip for my my other mic, to, well, my other lav mic to work with the one that's good sounding. So do I just live with taping this on me all the time now, or they don't sell these the clips for this alone? Because it's like a it's actually a cheap twenty two dollar lav mic that is like the best twenty two dollar lav mic. Um, as you guys have heard, so I might just get another one because I can't. The, the clip broke. That's like the worst part. The clip broke. Ah, ah. But it sounds so nice. Well, I, what, what what do? Let's see if I'm Amazon lav mic clip. Lav mic clip. Maybe this. You can is... ask. Seven dollars to try this out, see if it'll fit. Looks like it's similar. You know, the good part about uh, taping the the microphone is that you don't get to see the microphone, so True. it well, looks more natural. Well, and for, you, for most of my streams, I do on Monday and Wednesdays. I'm always wearing a collared shirt, and I just put it under, I just tuck it. I just put it under my collar. I'd run it behind me, my back. Into oh, a yeah. collar and then run it into the collar so no one would see it anyways. Except when that, I'm that's how back. you, yeah, that's how we how, how I would do if I were streaming. I would use like in ear monitors and get the cable behind my neck mm -hmm. so people wouldn't see the the monitor. Well, the the head the the, the earphones actually those are earphones, so it feels more natural for people because you know you want to avoid headset. Unless you're listening to good music, it's actually better for for your ears and your to to use a headset than a, than earphones actually. <sighs> Buy level ear mic clips. I found one on Amazon that looks like it's gonna work. Is that six mil? Yeah. Can I measure this? Six. Where is it? Oh, the Imbis love. Discrete lavalier mounting system. <laughs> There's yeah. my ruler or a tape measure. Here, this. Oh, I'm gonna use this PCB roller. I thought there was some mounting system that used magnets. Oh, uh, there is. Well, well, you can actually make one with two neodymium magnets or something like that. Yep. Uh, okay, this is the one I'm gonna get on Amazon. Six, six millimeters. That looks right. Oh, wait, that looks. That thing's alright. That looks right. Yeah, okay. And it comes with a windscreen, what I don't need. Well, maybe if you do a outside meetup. Yeah, all, all my things are slowly adding up and up and up. So far, my cart, I have now this lav clip. I have another <laughs> mini desk tripod. I need another one. I have a electric motorized turntable display so I can put a keyboard on it, turn it on, and it'll go zzz, so I can have B-roll of my keyboard spinning on a turntable because and do you have like a, a gorilla pod i don't need a gorilla pod i don't i, I don't vlog 
<laughs> this this is not the face of this is not the face that, that people want to see for vlogging. I don't think. But you have like the mounting system for the camera, so you can vertically. You have. Well, you you're I actually think... reusing the the money the the. I don't even microphone like. Arm I don't even like for the, pods. For the... My my brother has a gorilla pod. I I would rather use my current my uh. My current desk tripod, because it feels better in my hand to hold. I'm, I'll take it right, show you guys right now. It's this Manfrotto um, one, because it's comfortable to hold, okay? And it has the, the, the quick release ball joint. Oh, but Manfrotto's are actually expensive, but, but good. So, like, yeah, no, they're yeah. expensive good. And this is like the cheapest thing that they sell, which is their Manfrotto desk tripod. Um, it's like the only Manfrotto piece of kit I can afford. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually impressive because... Yeah, uh, their their brand makes tripods, but they they are like the only ones that make something that people trust a lot. Yeah, and doesn't fail. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, and they make from hobbyist equipment. We could say hobbyist. Mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of about photography, you know that 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 goes and can end up costing a lot. But they make from the cheapest equipment, from the the low side. Oh, or more accessible side to the overkill, super expensive. I've been using tripod. this since April eleventh, twenty seventeen. I'm gonna order another one because it's actually cheaper than the other mini tripod. Well, the other mini tripod I have my cart is all aluminum though. Aluminum is nice, but you know, it has the a tripod I have is actually awful. You should get one of these. These are like seventeen bucks. Well, for me it is. I'm not sure how much it's for you. For me, probably these are less. Seventeen bucks. So these are absolutely Manfro amazing for the price. Would highly Amazon. recommend. Manfrotto. Well, it was. N M T P I X I dash B P I X I mini tripod black. Manfrotto. Mini tripod. <laughs> that that works too. <laughs> oh, it's uh oh for for a second I saw like eight eight euros. No, but it's actually, they have it for the, exactly the same the one that you have, MTPXCB. Mm -hmm. Well, they have the, the variants for, Oof. yeah, they, they have Actually, one for one? 20 euros or something like that. Oh, I can get a red one now? Oh they're, oh, they're out of stock of the white one? Oh, the red one's more oh, expensive. Never mind, the black one's the cheapest. The red one is, is 23 euros. Mine is $21 for the red one. No, thanks. I'm going to get the black one for 17. And the, and the black one is 20, 21 <laughs> euros. I would get the white one if it was in stock and cheaper. You know, you should get black equipment because of reflections. All my equipment is black. <laughs> I paid $5 each time, yeah. Oh yeah, oh for, for, you used used Manfrotto mini tripods. Oh yeah, there, there are a couple on Amazon. That's eighteen euros. That's nice. Manfrotto equipment is something I would trust. Yeah, even even if it's used, you would trust it. It's actually nice equipment. This is how I record stuff now. I, have a, I use a monitor. It's great. Even though I'm indoors, I still have the, the, the hood on the monitor because it makes me feel cooler. Yeah, nice. any, any, any other questions for anyone who's watching before I uh, end the stream today? Hopefully after this, I will finally officially become affiliate. Hopefully. Um, hopefully I thought work. you were affiliate like from your previous stream but you didn't actually stream before like Top Clack uh, no I didn't I didn't, really, no, I didn't stream before Top Clack no you, you went straight to the Top Clack account <laughs> no well I Top Clack used to be streamed on my channel for like oh yeah, yeah. I remember the months. Man of Winters one yeah before <laughs> That's why I have so many f well, followers, well, it, technically. It actually streamed on Apolitary's channel at, at one time. For the first two episodes, and then we're like, you have bad internet, dude. You can't 
host the stream. And he's like, you're right. <laughs> um, oh, I miss Victor. I miss him too. Like he's too easy. He's, <laughs> he's in real life now. Crazy. He's not, yeah. he's not a timer keyboard, which is really sad. Because he's a really cool guy. But uh, Yeah. Well, he, he actually attends to meetups. And, yeah, the Jap- Japanese one. He, he, he organizes and, some of them too. Yeah, he attends to meetups. He... He went with he he had dinner with Albing a couple weeks ago. So he's basically he basically still likes keyboards, but he doesn't have enough time to be social and talk about keyboards. Yeah, yeah. That does take he, a lot he, of... And and he also has other other hobbies and not, well, not yeah. other hobbies, other passions. Yep. And all the virtual reality stuff that he's making. Yeah. So it's yeah. actually more important to him and more exciting actually don't, than keyboards. Yeah, I would don't say. blame him for that at all. Can you sub now, been... Ray? Soon. Yep. Ho- hopefully as soon as I hit the end stream button, and then I go to Twitch, then I hit apply for affiliates and fill out my dumb <laughs> tax information, then in theory, you'll be able to subscribe, hopefully by Monday. Is it, is it an automatic process? or? Sema, I think there's like one or two pieces of paperwork I need to do, but I can do it all electronically <sighs> for the paperwork. It's all electronic. Um, so it shouldn't take more than 24 so... hours. So there's a manual revision. Um, it's manual on my end, but on their end, once they get it, I think they just sign off. They're just making sure they're not like tax liable or anything like that, because you know, corporate interest stuff. Um, no biggie though. Man, I've a, uh, I gotta shoot like two videos today. I shoot so, a build video, a build uh, video in... based on the keyboard I have back there. There, that's gonna be fun. And then I have to do shoot this weekend keyboards for tomorrow. I spent the weekend finishing a certain project page for a certain set that already people know. Yay! I finished the the GMK Striker project page so one of these days i will post it again Yay. it's on the site it's, it's, it's not even private it's like you you go to the site and you check gmk striker and, and there's the 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 the, the 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 project there gmk striker yes please do you have a, yeah. do you have a date so, do you have any kind of eta for that or like is that gonna be like a 2020 may oh, oh, i'm, I'm waiting for uh the, the set will launch in May, and I'm waiting for each of the vendors to send me their, their pricing. I only have my keyboard EU pricing, and it's not final because I would have to double check with them if they are okay with that pricing. Yeah. The problem with my keyboard, well, with the European vendors, is that we actually have to apply the BAT. Oh, yeah, that's true. So... Basically, if they sell, let's say that I want to sell the set for 120 euros, the set is actually costing, they are actually making less profit than any other vendor. Hmm. So it's it's a little bit unfair, like, then that then they get the slack that, hey, this set costs 120 euros, but on this side, on C Frontier, it costs 120 dollars. And the difference is that C Frontier isn't applying the VAT, yep. and and my keyword you has to apply the VAT, otherwise they would be doing something really illegal in, in the European Union. Yeah. So when they get the slack for that, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize like okay. the role ec- international economics and those kind of policies play in our hobby. People just look like, hey. It's priced like this in one place, but priced like that in the other place. What? It's like, well, that's that's how it is. Uh, okay, so just just so pilot pilot XG says this. I'm going to leave it. It should be public, I think. But it that's a new public. project page. I had actually to remove some of the renders because we had like I, there were over seventy images, and the project page was too long. Oh heck yeah, Yusha Kovo, yeah. Oh yeah, Japanese vendor. 
It's gonna be so fun. They have such a cute shop. I want to go there someday. Yeah, I want to work, to go there too. They are in Akihabara, so that's a nice place to be. Anyways, I've got to go. I've got to go too. Everyone, thank you uh, so much for watching the stream today. Zamwan, thank you for joining me on the stream today as well. Um, everyone, hopefully on Monday, thank you, thank you. when we're back on our normal schedule of Mondays and Wednesdays, um, I'll be affiliates, um, hopefully. Twitch, please. Twitch. Um, until then, um, in about a little under an hour, you can know about an hour and 15 or so minutes, uh, you can catch Nathan Gim's stream at like 3.30ish. Um, so if you're still Oof. in the mood for keyboards today, you know, head over to Mr. Nathan Kim. He's an absolutely A plus streamer and gentleman. Um, so thank you everyone so much for watching, um, this little Sunday surprise. You guys are in a little treat because I'm not going to upload this VOD to YouTube probably because nothing really happened. I might, I actually had some good conversations. Why might I, my original plan was not to upload this VOD because I thought this stream would be like nothing other than like, can I hold three people? to watching this stream so I can just get affiliate and be okay with it. But no, I might but, because but it was really interesting. Yeah, no, we actually talked about a lot of interesting things. So yeah, I'll probably I'll probably end up uploading it um to later today. Okay, so see you another day, Huey. Well hear you or listen to you. <laughs> yes, I will I will I will, I will, I will we, we will talk again soon I'm sure. Have a wonderful day, Zamon and everyone else in chat. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Um, catch you tomorrow. See you on This Week in Keyboards. Bye.